As of now, our process doesn't do much. We've created our connection endpoints and retrieved all the necessary documents at the start shape. As we prepare to fine tune our process, it's important to understand what powers the execution. The document. Dell Boomi supports five raw document types. XML, JSON, flat file, database, and EDI. Documents are presented in four different formats. Record for flat files and databases, transactions for XML and EDI, file instance for any communication between systems not needing a structured analysis, for instance, an email attachment or an export to disk. And finally, empty for simple triggering of later steps in a process. To understand how documents flow through our process, let's take a look at this simple example. Documents often represent individual files right into the process. However, it's important to understand that a single document may contain many records. If this is the case, it's useful to use the data process shape split action to split a document so each has a single record for processing. For example, this is useful for handling a large daily batch file of purchase orders. By splitting the number into many documents, this allows for each purchase order to be processed and followed independently. For example, let's assume we've read many documents into the start shape. Each represents a single record for a person's account information. Upon the process execution, the documents are retrieved and sent down the process flow path. The document flow is gathered together as a group, but they're independent and they meet at a map shape, which changes documents from one document type to another. Here we are converting the documents from XML to a common delimited flat file. We'll learn about the map shape shortly. Our documents now have the data process shape applied to them. In this example, the four documents are combined into a single document. Due to the data process shape, the four account documents, each containing a single record, are now a single batch document consisting of four records. The set property shape adds document properties. In this case, the document is given a specific file name before being written to disk. We'll learn more about the set property shape soon. The document is then written to disk. Let's look at one more example about how documents can flow through a process. Documents usually flow together as a group by default, but there are some conditional shapes that may send documents down different paths. For example, you can use a decision shape to compare two values and send a document either down the true or the false path. In this example, we see due to the decision shape, two documents are sent down the true path and two documents are sent down the false path. The paths are not executed in parallel. Instead, they are sequential, so the documents complete the true path before any documents flow down the false path. As we work through our process, we'll talk more about the document flow. This concludes our discussion on document flow. Please proceed to the next video on the set property shape.